So they sent me to Miami to do my usual shenanigans at the racetrack. I got into a minor fight with some local fans, nothing out of the ordinary for a guy of my caliber. Classic distractions, eh? I was on my way to my mission when a beggar in the middle of an underpass caught my attention. Unfortunately, I didn't have any spare change, so I took his and threw it back at him. He wasn't pleased, to say the least. I gotta teach him some manners. Anyone like that? What's wrong with you? I don't know, maybe a few years of torment in a psychiatric hospital? Anyway, I grabbed the coconut and headed towards the parking lot, where I'd left my sniper rifle in my van. I slid my sniper rifle out of the sexy red van. Okay, that sounded a bit odd. Let's head towards our mission. Along the way, I encountered some protesters. I can't stand protesters. They're always whining about something. I stumbled upon a really interesting conversation, but the speakers didn't want to share it with me. What a shame. You're coming on a little strong, and I don't feel the same. Back off, please. My hey, what? what are you doing? That is so immature. Yes, I know. Around the corner, I encountered a young lad glued to his phone on this beautiful day. I had to encourage him to get moving. I also gained some new fans along the way. Who doesn't love hamburgers, right? As soon as I spotted the food stand, I dashed over to order a big, greasy one. But for some reason, I couldn't place my order. I started getting nervous and then remembered I still had that coconut. As usual, there's always a wise guy around, so I had to take care of him too. Just look at this gorgeous Miami in all its glory. Who wouldn't want to live here? Right before reaching my target, I ran into an enthusiastic jogger. I wanted to challenge him to see if I could catch up. Piece of cake for a pro like me. The guy doesn't know you don't play games with Mr. 47. Anyway, I approached the stairwell, which was the location for my sniper position. The doors were locked, so I had to hop over the fence and climb the stairs. When I reached the top, I had to take care of two maintenance workers. I knock out the first one with my last coconut and the second one with a crowbar. Both neatly tucked away for a nap. Okay, time to set up my sniper rifle and get into position. The client has a specific request for me to cause chaos at the racetrack. So far, they haven't doubted my methods, so I have free hands. Nice one. Okay, I think it's messy enough. At least I hope that's what the client had in mind. It was time to pack up my faithful sniper, and just as I was stowing it away in the suitcase, I was interrupted Come on. by... We both want to get home tonight. Give up. Please behave, mister. Okay? Easy does it. You know that today only one of us can go home, and it won't be you. Sorry. Mm. Ah, why I skipped that karate class last time. Sweet dreams. On my way back, I tossed over a cop and a local hipster vendor, as I wanted to grab the key and make my escape with a speedboat. It was a little too late when I remembered I hadn't killed any targets, since today's task was to create chaos, not killings. I decided to sit back, read the local newspaper, and wait for them to arrest me. That's all for today, folks. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. I hope you had a blast, and see you in the next episode.